Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Shaw from Math Plus Academy, and in a previous math treat, we talked about drawing stars or star polygons, and I got a lot of good feedback on that one, so I'm going to try another circle drawing one, but this one is going to be called Multiplication Circles. And what we're going to do is represent our multiplication table through lines and uh, connecting points on this circle. So here I've just chosen, I can choose any number I want. In this case, I'm going to choose 12. And I've drawn a circle with 12 dots, kind of looks like a clock, except that I've chosen to uh, label the first one 0 instead of 12. And then we count around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you could imagine continuing to count. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these dots are actually going to represent uh, multiple numbers. Uh, each one 12 more than the one before because each time I come around I am 12 dots further along than I was before. So this one is going to represent 1 but also 13 and then 12 more, 25 and 37 and so forth. And we're going to try and use that then to represent our multiplication. So now I need to pick a number by which I want to multiply by. In this case I'll choose 2. So this will be my 2 times table. And I'll start at 0, and we know what 2 times 0 is. 2 times 0 is 0, so that's kind of boring. There's nothing to connect up. So let's move over to 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so I'll connect these two with a line, with a segment, like that. And then I keep going. What's 2 times 2? 4, so we're going to connect these. What's 3 times 2? 6, connect those. And so we're getting a representation of our multiplication table for twos in this little circle chart. Four times two is eight. Five times two is 10. Six times two is 12. Now keep in mind this is 11, 12, so I'm gonna go up to the top, just like that. Uh, now I'm at seven. Seven times two is 14. So keep in mind again, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this 2 also represents 14. So the 7 will connect with the 2. Uh, let's see, 8 is 16. That's going to be 4. Oh, that's really interesting. So 8 goes back to the number it started with, because remember, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 9, is, 9 times 2 is 18. That would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That would connect with the 6. Uh, 10 times 2 is 20. That's going to connect with the 8. And 11 times 2 is 22. That's going to connect with the 10. Now, if you pause here, we've gone all the way around. What do you notice? Well, it looks to me like this thing is pretty symmetric. I, I, this segment is mirrored over there, this one's mirrored over here, that one's mirrored over there, I've got one down the middle. So, I don't know about you, but I find this kind of surprising that it would be symmetric. And then it makes me wonder, well, I chose an even number for the number of dots, 12. Maybe if I chose an odd number, I would get something that wasn't symmetric. I don't know, we should probably try that. Another thing is, we can keep going. So let's keep going. Uh, after 11 comes 12. This is also 12, remember. 12 times 2 is 24. Well, where's 24 on this chart? Well, that's, that's back right here again. 12 more than this. So that does nothing again. Going to here, this is also 13. 13 times 2 is 26. That would give me... Uh, let's see, this was 24, 25, 26. So that's this segment right there. Wait, I had that segment already. Uh, what about 14 times 2? That's 28. This is also 28 because it's, if I go from 4 around once, that's 16, and around again is 28. So that means I have to connect these. Wait, that's a line I had before. This is really strange. Uh, 3, that's 15, connects with 30. 30 is actually 6. All right, clearly there's something going on here. This cannot be a coincidence. These three lines back on top of each other. So this is a question I want you to explore. What is going on here? Why am I getting this repeat? After I go around once, it just 
repeats all the same lines again? I would not have guessed that. So that's surprising to me. The symmetry is surprising to me. And of course, maybe I just got lucky. I picked 2 and 12. 2 is my multiplication number, 12 is the number of dots. Is this true only for this one? Or is it always true? Or is it sometimes true? I don't know. So that's what I want you to explore in today's math treat is make yourself a multiplication table. Pick a number for the number of dots that you want. Pick a multiplication number and start connecting up the segments. Remember that we count around over and over again. So the dots actually represent multiple numbers. You can go as far as you want. Okay, I decided that it might be fun to give you one more example so you can see what's going on a little bit better. So here I've chosen eight dots numbered zero through seven and maybe I'll pick a different multiplication number. I'll pick three. So now we're going to do our three times table on this chart. Zero times three is zero. Boring. One times three is three so I connect this. Two times three is six so we go across. Three times three is nine. Keep in mind this is eight, so that's nine. Oh, that redraws that line. Okay, because this one is also nine. Uh, four times three is 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That comes back to itself. Five times three is 15. Uh, I believe that would also be seven, because seven plus eight is 15. And six times three is 18. So it's eight, 16, 17, 18, that's that line again. Seven times three is 21. And this is eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's this line. Ah, repeat again. And then I get back to here. This is eight, eight times three is 24. This is always a multiple of eight up here. So this is gonna, um, nothing fun happens there. And I keep going around. I'll do one more. Let's say this is also nine. 9 times 3 is 27, 27, let's see, 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27. Oh my, connecting those two again. So this is, this is actually, again, super surprising. I only have three lines on this chart. A uh, couple of dots go back to themselves. I do see this pattern of symmetry again. Um, I also see that the number, as you go around, it seems to copy onto itself and I don't get new lines. Very strange. Um, and here I've chosen eight and three. I mean, three doesn't go into eight, eight's even, three is odd. I mean, what is going on? So again, now you have a second example. So what I'd like you to do, as always, is try a few of these on your own, pick different numbers for the number of dots, pick different multiplication numbers, draw these pictures, see what they look like, look for patterns and structure, um, and see if you can answer these questions. Is it always symmetric? Does it always repeat on top of itself as you go round and round? Um, what other neat things can you find? And I will say, if you pick a, a, a large number for the number of dots, you get more lines, of course, and the pictures get really, really cool and kind of pretty. I'll share a couple examples of them just here up on the screen so you can see what you're headed for. And I'll also leave a template with uh, circles with a lot of dots so that you can easily um, start connecting up lines and seeing what happens. So as always, try these things, see what you get, look for those patterns, and just have fun playing with math.